steady that. Mike, come on in right in this area. You have better instruction. No, no, I'm not going to throw it. I'm just going to face it. First part is loading. Loading is two parts. I just mentioned you got loading it and throwing it. Okay, so the first part you want to get down is loading the net. This is a 10 foot net, it's 20 foot diameter. Uh, you know, there are bigger nets. If you can open a 10 foot the way it needs to be good, then it's really all that you're going to need out there. Um, it's a good size net, ocean bay. Um, this this particular net, there's a little background, this is our standard net. We have three custom nets that we designed for the fishing center. This is called our standard. It's 17 pounds, it's like what you would buy. <laughs> Uh, well, we went any tackle for they were smaller cast, and it would be similar in weight, and weight wise. I feel like the quality is a little bit better. But anyway, then you go up and we've got an extra grade called a stealth net, which is 19 pounds. And then we have what's called a heavy duty which is a little bit So we have these two grades of that. Uh, but starting out, the standard is the good net to use this all around net. You move to the stealth and the heavy duty when you get a little higher level and you start finding it. You can't catch a base. While you catch a base in the water is cold, it's different circumstances. So they need a faster than your But anyway, is anyone left handed? Good answer. All right. All right. So I am right handed. Okay. You want to take your, take your loop. All that's going to come with the loop. Take the net, loop it back inside itself, and create a little yeah. slip knot. It'll save you about $300 every time it does it. Cinch that tight. Oh, then what I want you to do is pour it over here to your left hand. Just like this, nice long coils. Again, I'm right handed, so everything right now is in my left. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to coil right on down to the swivel here at the top. This is called the horn right here. The circle at the top is the horn. What I want to do is, is take the horn and bring it up to the top of the swivel. If you're in your boat, you drop the net over the side, it'll naturally stretch down and the horn will come up the swivel. It's, you know, that's the easy way. Or you can kind of take if the net's in the bottom of your boat. You can it's sometimes good to stretch it out like that. And just bring that horn up to the swivel. So, then I'm going to take the horn, I'm going to grab it just below it right here in my left hand also. I'm going to treat the net just like the, bottom, the uh, rope here. I'm going to coil it right down coil right back into my hand again and I coil one more time right into my left hand okay so all I've done is coil the rope and basically coil the net all right the distance the length here once you finish up is pretty important you want where you grab you stand straight and tall and this arm is straight and locked out those weights should be on the ground okay you should not have it too short the weights are up off the ground. You should not have it too loose so that again you got all that. So you want to try to get the net will be a lot easier to throw if you get that distance right. Okay? Alright. So first thing you do you can I end up getting down on one knee to do this, but if on a boat if you've got a cooler or a raised deck or something, some people take the net and set it up there and you can work but basically you got to get to the lead lines however it's easiest. Um, first thing you want to do before you start to load it is do what we call fanning the net. It's really best to try to do this but either the night, the day before when you cleaned your net or the time before you get all the knots out of your net or certainly in the morning before you go fishing versus finding the bait and then having to deal with it. But you always want to go through and be sure that you don't have any tangles in your neck. So all you do is just take the lead line here, pull it out to the side, and take the top edge, and I'm just going to do what's called fanning the net, which is where I'm just going to take it and continually pull. See, I do have a tangle back here. I'm going conti to continually pull this lead line so it's all straight. What will typically happen with your tangles is your stringers will get on the wrong side of your, of your lead line. 
such as this. See the stringer is, goes over top and so by continually pulling your lead line, all, your lead line always comes over the top of any stringers. It'll straighten it out. If you have a knot, if you've got a knot in it when you're throwing it, it's not, it will not throw correctly. Okay, so I've gone through the entire knot. Now we're going to stand up, keeping that good straight, and now we're ready to load, okay? So that's more something you don't, you can hopefully do before fishing time. You want to reach down, we're loading it. You're going to again do just basically what I just did. You're going to pull a section of the net out to your right. You got the top of the net and the bottom of the net. We're going to take the top of the net, and again we're going to fan just like we just did. And we're going to put about half of the net on one side. So I got about half to my left and half to my right. Top of the net, bottom or back of the net, okay? We'll reach down here right by my knee to the back of the net. And we'll grab this and I'm going to lay it over my arm, okay? Now I want to lay this over my arm the same way that it's going to hit the water, okay? So that would be this way as opposed to twisting it. You would not want to put a twist in it like that or like that. Okay, it's upside down. You got to kind of picture it's like this. You're laying it over your arm the same way that it's going to hit the water. Okay? From there, again, top of the net, bottom of the net. I'm going to reach down to the, about as far as I can reach, I'm still on the bottom of the net. Okay? Now, here's the part that's a little bit, a little finesse required. I'm going to take the lead line and I'm going to hang it in the joint of my pointer finger. Okay? I've got these three fingers and my thumb free. I don't have it like this. I've got it like this. Okay? Alright? Now, what I want to do is I want to reach in. This is the pile of net that I'm after, this section right here. I'm going to reach in and I'm going to grab. I'm going to grab all this net right here, okay? I'm going to reach in, I'm going to grab all this net with these three fingers and my thumb, okay? So I've got the lead line hung over my pointer, crease of my pointer. I'm going basically over top of that close section, grabbing the net here. Now the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my pointer finger, that still has the lead line hanging over it, and I'm going to bring it to the top and then put my thumb on it. This becomes the trigger. Okay, this is the point, the most important piece. So again, to, to let go of that, I've put half here, got half over here still. I reach down, I put a, six inches to a foot over my left arm. I reach right down to the back of the net, about as far as I can reach. I hang the lead line over my pointer finger. And I reach right in and I grab this clump of net, okay? And then I take my pointer finger, pull it back out, put my thumb right there. Okay. From there, you can then stand up. And the net is loaded. Okay. The net is loaded. The one final piece here, I'm not going to throw. The one final piece that you can do that'll help you is if you'll take your right wrist and if you'll flip that just like that. See, it was closed like this. Just picture it this little section is a small net. If I take this and I flip that open, when I turn and throw this way, <coughs> it'll just help it to already be open a little bit as opposed to being back and closed like that. So just take your finger, flip that around, and it's ready, okay? <coughs> so that's part one. I've got a couple nets, and we can practice loading the net anybody that wants to. Part two is the release of the net, and I am not going to throw this net. But what you want to do is basically uh, act as if you're uh, almost like you're throwing a bucket of water on a fire. Okay, so if I'm, if I'm throwing a bucket of water toward this gentleman in the blue shirt, I would have the bottom of the pail, and I would have the top of the pail, and I would reach back, and I would throw it just like that. Okay, so very similar here. All right, <coughs> you want to keep your feet still when you're doing this okay we were if you were watching a little bit earlier we were poking at one of the guys that works with us because he was some guys do the whirly gig and they throw and everything. <laughs> there's all sorts of ways there are lots of ways to do this but uh, that 
that is really not a very good way to do it because if you get in any type of sea condition it's extremely hard to try to dance on the front of your boat and release a net okay so basically my interpretation is it's kind of like uh, swinging a golf club okay your feet stay very still all right you rotate through your hips and your shoulders and then you you create momentum by swinging the net up and then as the momentum drops you twist your hips and your shoulders that drives the net out in the direction that you're aiming. So if I am throwing, if I'm wanting to target directly in front of me here, I'm actually going to stand perpendicular to my target like this, reach back and then throw like that. Okay? Actually if I'm, if I'm aiming dead ahead of me, honestly you sort of throw your bucket of water about 45 degrees to the left of it because by the time you release it all it's all going to come sort of open like that so you aim a little to the left of what you're aiming at okay now the, the real important releasing you definitely want to release it uh, this is your trigger okay this is the last thing that you let go of the very last thing you let go of right here and when you pitch that bucket of water when you swing back and once you get out here I'm going to let go of everything in my left hand and I'm going to let go of these three fingers right here and I'm going to hold my thumb and my forefinger together and as I throw out like this boom I've released everything I'm holding nothing but my thumb and forefinger I draw an arc with my right arm and I let go just basically at my right foot here okay so I, my fish are here I'm going to throw my bucket of water here like this and then arc around my right arm and draw right there. And that will create, that will make it happen. Okay. <clears throat> the more oomph that you put into the net, typically the better it's going to open for you. Okay. Just, just uh, limping it out there isn't going to help you too good. Okay. And so you can you can use the weight, the momentum of the weights to swing back and then drive as they're on their way. I've seen some folks, it just, it's very unnatural. They're just standing here and then they, it's like they just try to make it go. You know, you need to, you need to reach back and then use the momentum of the weight to throw, to throw through to give it distance and to make it open up. Um, the other part of it is as you're here throwing, you reach back, you kind of watch my hands here. I'm going to say I'll throw this, this gentleman. My target is here, <coughs> which means I'm going to be throwing my bucket right here. So I'm going to reach back here, I'm going to reach back and I'm going to throw. When I get right here, it's going to look like that. Okay, see that's open and that's open. That and I've still got this and then I take my arm here, here and I drop just like that. And that creates that outer edge. And when you put the momentum behind it, the whole net whoop, will flow up and, and open up. Okay? Um, the relief, loading it, you've got to get that down. So you want to practice that so you can do it quick and you can do it right every time. Load, load, load. From there, really, once you can load it, your practice becomes the release. Because different people, just different body motions, whatever, you want to learn what feels comfortable to you and, and getting that release down how hard you want to throw it how high the trajectory you're better not to throw up here as you are to try to throw straight out okay make it blow out lower to the water because if you start throwing up you get the wind will start affecting you you know as far as messing with the net and um and the fish particularly if you're in clear water can see the net you know when it's up over their head so if you're able to throw straight out as opposed to up it will help you okay um who wants to be i need a couple of volunteers anybody want to try these nets they're ready to go except for that yeah. <laughs> i got a net right here two nets they're both the same